and welcome to another edition of Between Two Owls. I'm your host, Tom Price. With me today, I have Dr. Martha Constantino from the physics department. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, Tom. It's a pleasure to be here. So where did you grow up? Oh, I grew up in Cyprus, and I'm sure not many people know where that is. So Cyprus is a small island in the Mediterranean Sea. Uh, it's near the Greek islands. We share a lot of history with Greece. So often I say I'm Greek. <laughs> uh, and just to get an idea how small the island is, it's uh, more than 10 times smaller than Pennsylvania. So it's really a tiny place. Mm -hmm. And did you have any games or musical instruments you played as a child? Oh, I was introduced to piano when I was five mm -hmm. years old, when I was even uh, younger to be able to play anything. And that lasted for 12 long years. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. So I, I, I practiced a lot uh, throughout my uh, high school years to get a piano degree. Um, do you have any siblings? Yes, I have two siblings. I am the oldest one. I have two sisters. And actually, my youngest sister, she's, uh, 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 she's in college. She's graduating um, engineering. Awesome. And what would they say about you? Oh. <laughs> I'm annoying. I'm too pushy. I ask too many questions. <laughs> Typical big sister. That's good. <laughs> yeah, but we love each other very much. Great. And where did you go for your undergraduate degree? Um, I, uh, I, I went to Cyprus, the University of Cyprus, and I did my undergraduate there. And were you physics from the get-go? Yes. Um, accidentally, I studied physics. I was not focused on physics. I always knew I liked science. And uh, it was uh, on rotation between math, biology, and physics, math, biology, mm -hmm. and physics. Mm -hmm. And uh, around the time I had to make a choice, um, I went for uh, um, a tour at the university and I saw the physics labs and I was fascinated and I said, that's it. The irony is that I'm a theorist and I hated experiments <laughs> while being a physics major, but it turned out well, I'm not complaining. And did you have any mentors as an undergrad? Uh, yes. Um, so I had two different types of mentors. I, I, I was involved in research uh, early on. So I had uh, an academic mentor, um, but uh, I also had uh, the only female faculty in the department that kind of motivated me to pursue what I want. Um, so I'm very happy about that. And where did you do your graduate work? Because I was involved in research uh, since my undergrad uh, studies, there was some kind of a pressure to continue that work. Um, mm -hmm. And so I, I, I stayed uh, in, at the University of Cyprus and, and, and I did my PhD. But again, the irony is that uh, one year into the PhD, I realized that uh, condensed matter wasn't for me and, and I switched to nuclear physics. Mm. And when did you come to Temple? Uh, I'm here for since 2016, so not so long ago. And what do, like, what do you like most about your job? Um, my job is, is twofold. So uh, I do research and I also teach. So, and I consider both very important. So research wise, I would say that um, new discoveries are very exciting. Uh, every time we start a new project and it leads to something meaningful and you get physical results that you can use to interpret experiments or you confirm what experiments find. Uh, this is very exciting and this is one aspect that I really, really like, um, but I cannot see myself being in a, in a research institution exclusively like a, a national lab. I really enjoy teaching and I take this role very seriously. So seeing the young students uh, being motivated to pursue their dreams and uh, pursue a career and put, uh, put uh, very high goals, this is, this is very rewarding. And what do you like most about Temple students? Hmm. 
Um, I think, I mean, I, I, I have never seen anywhere else uh, such diverse group of, of students. Mm -hmm. So this is, uh, it's very interesting for me because I learn a lot from my students and their background. Mm -hmm. But also I think they have a sense of community and the responsibility to give back. They, they, they feel that uh, they're to some extent privileged and they need to help everybody. So this sense of volunteering, um, I have seen it for as long as I have been here. And what classes do you teach? Mm, I teach uh, mostly honor students. Uh, mm -hmm. So I teach introductory physics one and two. Um, and for the last years I have been, I, I have had this, the series of courses, uh, 29, 21 and 29, mm -hmm. 22. So I see the same students, uh, for a whole year, which is awesome. I really like my students and I cool. hope they like me. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what is your research focused on at the moment? Um, so it's nuclear physics. It's theoretical, uh, computational nuclear physics. Um, but um, if I had to describe it in two words, is trying to understand the structure of fundamental particles like the proton. So we all know what the proton is and um, uh, chemistry studies these particles um, from a different perspective. So we are trying to understand the internal structure of the proton. Uh, and this is very important because this kind of particles, they, they, they consist in more than 99% of the mass of the visible universe of, around us. Mm -hmm. So understanding them, you can basically uh, uh, describe phenomena from uh, uh, the proton level up to the um, um, uh, large scale phenomena, phenomena such as the, uh, the fusion and the fusion in the sun. So it's very interesting. Great. I'm going to switch, uh, shift gears a little bit mm -hmm. and ask you some stuff about your personal life, if you don't mind. What would you consider as your main fault? My main fault? Yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I insist a lot on things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that good enough? <laughs> yes, that's fine. And um, what do you value most in your friends? Um, very loyal, my friends. They're also not too needy. I cannot afford to have friends that I see every day or every week or every month even. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, having uh, real friendship uh, and honest uh, friendships, it means that you might not see the, these people for six months and there are no hard feelings. Mm -hmm. So uh, I really value this, that they're, they're not needy and need my time too much. Um, do you have a significant other? Uh, yes, uh, I am married. Uh, my husband is also uh, part of the CST family. Um, what are you currently reading? Oh, what I'm reading? Oh, I'm reading. I like um, uh, detective novels just to get mm -hmm. my mind out of research. And sure. there is a UK writer with ha has a series of novels for more than 20 years now. I think it's Simply Dead, and it's the, the, uh, a detective called uh, Roy, and, and the author is British. I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, what would be the title of your biography? Oh, if I ever write one. Um, I think I would be... Uh, the girl who was not afraid to be different. Mm. Um, what's your favorite thing to do in Phil in Philadelphia? Mm. Oh, now with COVID, not much. So. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Um, Valid. I really enjoy just going around the Schuylkill River uh, with the bicycle, and uh, I really enjoy the change of, uh, of seasons. This is something mm. that. I have never seen growing up in a hot mm. climate like mm -hmm. the, like Cyprus, and I never thought that fall can be beautiful. Uh, mm. So um, I, I, I like these uh, season changes and the anticipation of uh, of the of the spring and the summer. Um, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, what would it be? predict the future. 
Hmm? What are some of your favorite musical bands or artists? Oh my God, these are too difficult <laughs> questions. You can ask me a physics question, it would be easier. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't have a, a favorite. I like a lot hip hop and R&B. Oh, good. Um, what is your favorite, where's the favorite place to eat in Philadelphia area? Oh, uh, there are a couple of places. I like um, Dandelion mm -hmm. and I also like, uh, oh, there is this, uh, this French restaurant in Rittenhouse. I don't know if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a French restaurant in Rittenhouse Square. It's very nice. Okay, I'm gonna do something called rapid fire response. I'm gonna give you two words and you just state your preference or say pass. Tea or coffee? Tea in the morning, coffee in the afternoon. <laughs> morning or night? Morning, for sure. Dark or milk chocolate? Uh, average. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can take both. Whatever, I, I, whatever there is, I will, I will eat it, no complaint. <laughs> Offense or defense? Uh, offense. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Half full or half empty? Full. <laughs> Hot or cold? Uh, it depends on the season. Right now, cold. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's been great having you on the show. Thank you.